Hey everybody, Zachary's Night 2 here with the next unboxing for guys today. This is going to be for a figure like I also, kind of like in previous video, said never thought I was ever going to actually get it because my store is usually very, very terrible when it comes to actually getting these kind of stuff in stock. So I got Mario Luigi um, in a couple of videos in a, vi in a past. I got the Mario figure. Looks really amazing and detailed. I really like it with a realistic moving eyes, which this movie was phenomenal. So <laughs> definitely, definitely... Excited to get this movie when it comes out on DVD, 4K, and Blu-ray. Going to get like two copies, so I'm going to eventually going to get, you know, both. I'm going to get two versions, I should say. I also, for this item, got per things prepared. So this is going to be for this giant Bowser. Um, he's a seven inch. It says seven inch, is it? I think it said seven inch. Yeah, it says seven inch figure. He might not be too tall, I guess, in comparison, but he's huge. I mean, seriously, look at him compared to Mario. He's almost, Mario's almost the same picture, like size as this picture. This thing is huge. This is by far bigger than any figure I have besides the giant turtles that I got. This thing beats them, uh, beats the rest besides the turtles by a long shot. With this amazing looking box, like seriously, it has like a very glossy picture of Bowser right there. I've already cut the tape, so it makes it easier. Still has, for some reason it says Mario and V 7 inch Bowser. And then we got this side with Bowser and then also you see like the reflective material. I'm going to keep this box because it's too cool to throw away. Uh, then we got the bottom with it being yellow for Bowser. Has the information there. I'm going to try to get my shadow out of the way. Um, then we got the, what's cool is that this has a new feature that the others don't have. Um, which you could probably see it right here. He has a vapor breath. Um, behind his hair, from what I've seen in the review, you can pull it out. There's a light in there. And then if you put AAA, three AAA batteries in it and then put water in it, it should breathe out vapor with it glowing. Um, but yeah, we got 14 points of articulation, premium details, fire breathing effect. Now this thing looks amazing and I really, really hope that this thing works well with the batteries I got. I don't have the best batteries right now, but I do have some AAA batteries. I just hope these are good. And I also got some water for the vapor. Well, let's get this open. Been waiting all day to get it open. And right when we get it open, you see this has a glossy name that says Bowser. Then it also has artwork continuing continuing from the box, mainly just on this side. But this is what you see firsthand. Look, my hand is not the biggest for a man's, but this thing is huge. He smells like plastic, like a ton of a ton of plastic. It doesn't have like the best smell, that's for sure. I wonder what that is. There's something here too, like right here. Don't know what that is. Maybe it's to fill in where the water is for his hair, but I'll get into that once I actually get the figure out. Let's get Mr. Bowser out of here. Oh, there's instructions. But nothing else inside that box besides the instructions. Bowser himself. So I'm going to switch that to the side. This guy is like strapped in. I might have to cut away to him being out of the package. But it shows here with the instructions. Looks like it's a button press with one of the spikes, which is actually pretty creative a way to activate it. Oh, so the whole shell removes. So you move, remove the whole shell, take off the back of the head, put the three AAA batteries, turn on the switch, um, then press it, and there we go. Nothing on the other side besides just instruction, um, just more words that we don't really care to see. But we got Bowser himself. He is very, very rubbery. As you can see, he, oh, he has an articulated wrist. Okay, good, 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 good. So I'm gonna cut away real quick and get him out. All right, I'm back. It took me a while to get him out. So here is this. I still don't know what really what that thing is for. Let's see. I'm going to assume it's for the fire breath effect. So 
so this is what is in there. Let's see if I can get out of the light. Well, maybe not. But here's this tube. Oh, I see. I filled this up with the water. And then I squeeze it into the, to the head. So I'm going to uh, move that out of the way. And show you the result. Here is Bowser. Seriously, look how big this guy is. He is huge. Like, in comparison to Mario, he's probably accurate. But man, he is a lot bigger than Mario. It's so like, seriously, his articulation, though, is extremely well done, but it's also a little loose. It's a little, little loose. But I'm not sure if it's just the Bowser that I have. Let me get this, actually, in a better angle for you. To give you a better look. So he can articulate all the way back, like there. Kick out as much as he can. Out far there. But his other leg is actually a little different. It's angled different and it's also molded different. And I think it's also because of the plastic that's used here. So he can kick out about there, kick back about there. Let's see, he has arm joints that go only up about so far. Um, he has no head motion at all, no mouth mo movement at all. There's spikes right here. He has a ball jointed elbow. That's not really, it's like a, just a single joint, technically. Um, he has a wrist twist. He has rubbery, rubbery feet and hands, um, rubbery face, hair, and extremely rubbery shell. It's like very, very plasticky, kind of like a ball almost. And then there's a button right here for the spike that's actually to what to activate it. Um, he also has an uh, articulated tail. That could spin all the way around. This one can spin individually around. So you can have it do really weird things, just different ways. But I really like how this Bowser looks. Let's see if I can get him into a cool pose. This Bowser looks amazing. And this movie was amazing. Jack Black did a fantastic job with Bowser. Let's see if I can get this shell off. I think you just pull it right off. Oh, okay. So there's... The back right here. Oh, it needs a screwdriver? Are you joking? <sighs> Hurt me. But here's the spike that's individually like a button. Then there's the switch. It was set to on, even though there's nothing in there. Um, guess I'm gonna have to go grab. I'm gonna grab a screwdriver. But here's the inside of this shell. It's very, very rubbery. Very, very bendable. And then I'll have to fill this thing up with water so that we can put into his head, which this goes out like that. Okay, that makes more sense. So when you do it, you would just pretty much, you know, squeeze it into the head once it's ready. But then whenever you're done, you just push that back in and there's his hair. Let me pause the video again and I'll be right back. Took me many, many, many tries to even get this thing put, you know, done correctly because it's my own fault. But now I got it. Oh, that is cool. I'm not sure if you can really see that. Let's see. Against maybe this black box. Oh, I guess he already ran out of paper. Didn't put enough water in him. But that was really, really, really cool. But tell me in the comments below what you guys or girls think about this video. What do you think about this awesome Bowser figure um, from the movie? I'm not sure if I can get him into a cool pose or not. At least to a pose that I would prefer him to be in. Let's see. I mean, on this kind of surface, it's going to be more difficult. Let's see if I can get into a cool pose. At least for, you know, the outro. Oh, it's rat. 
And, well. Okay. Somewhat standing. Going to keep them there. Okay. But tell me in the comments below what you guys and girls think about this video. And what do you think of this really, really cool Bowser figure? Um, comparison wise, he is much larger um, than Mario and Luigi themselves. And definitely worth the 30 bucks, in my opinion. See you next time, and God bless.